Well, thank you, Freya. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, I actually didn't think we'd get here at all. So the fact that we're on train, yeah, uh, is certainly very interesting. Um, Considering how the individuals on Fnatic were performing, Overpass, yeah. Vertigo, it felt like they had everything going for them. But Dignitas showed some of that true grit. And as we can't forget that there are legends on this team, major champions in the form of Forest and Freiburg. And well, clearly what they're doing, they're doing something right. They managed to get Heap to lead the way. He dragged them through that first half, not letting them lose a few crucial rounds. And then they got the job done and forced a third map in the series, Train. So now we get to find out, do Dignitas Vaya have what it takes to upset Fnatic? This is top eight of Flashpoint 2. Yesterday, we very nearly had a massive upset where Envy almost took out Big. I mean, why not? Let's see it. Dignitas, it's the Scandi Derby. JW deciding not to swing against that Ivy position. They're coming through. They're actually trying to run him down. A little bit of a long-range fight here. Crims helping out. JW's there for one headshot. Oh, and he's getting saved. Crims coming in with a massive triple. And that will be the round going in favor of Fnatic. That is... That's a lot of work put in by Crims. Saving, I think, JW twice in that pistol round. And Fnatic off to a good start. Uh, you're hoping that Crims is going to get a good start as well here. Uh, just because he is one of the highest performing players so far in this tournament uh, alongside his teammate Brolan. So if you're getting if you're getting Brolan, if you're getting Crims off to a strong start, uh, it bodes well for Fnatic on that CT side, obviously. And well, okay. Dignitas Vi going for the hardy go. Yeah, one of the rush rush right in. If they could get the kill on Flusher, if they can overwhelm him, he's coming I like almost it. right at them. Oh, with the Molotov. Yeah, now they're gonna be forced into the high ground and then backup will show up before they actually get there. So Listen, lads, just yellow. Oh. There's no stopping here. No, definitely not. But what a grenade down on the low ground. They just want the bomb plant and oh they are sneaking it through. That's all they needed. And a kill on top from Holzerk, who's going to be buying the AWP later on. So the fact that he gets the kill with the MP9, it's all good news. That is, that's just fine. <laughs> Vroline can't find the Deagle. Or he thinks there's a Deagle. He thought there was a Deagle, but... So there no. must be one somewhere. It's all Glocks. All Glocks. I know, it isn't that rare. It really does feel like you find a Unicorn when you get a full eco coming from a team. Like, no money spent at all from Dignitas that round. How yeah. rare is that in today's day and age for CSGO? And especially the way they worked out, right? They actually ran into that HE up on the high ground and... Makes perfect sense from Flusha. Trying to charge forward, trying to just deny the bomb plant. That's all he needed to do there. That was yeah. all the hope there, you know, for Dignitas was just getting the bomb plant. Getting kills was not a part of the picture. It was just getting that bonus money. I look at the result. Holzerk with the MP9 kill and the bomb plant means, you know, AWP and some armor and some even some mm -hmm. grenades on top. Great stuff. All right. They're warming up Dignitas slowly but surely. Getting more confident. The Orcs are back in play on the Fnatic side. Let's see how much of a... Oh, that's a bit weird. Bounces right through. Freiburg going to be flashing himself through the smoke and hoping to find someone out on that side. That doesn't really happen. And Yeah, it's a lot of people looking at his position right now. So he's going to start to fall back. But look at the B bomb side. Just instant bomb plant. Already pushed to the bottom of the bomb side is Harry. And weird as it is, Fnatic... What the hell? They almost want... It's... I mean, you don't often call a save in a 5-on-5, five five, but how how do you plan on retaking this? You're so far out of position. Um, JW at least has a scout. Oh, the flash is imperfect. Still, Flusha, nicely done. He'll be able to take that AK, and yeah, now you're saving if you're a Fnatic. But uh, wow. for Dignitas to pull everybody from Fnatic, that is an uncharacteristic mistake from Fnatic. Hard rotate everybody to A site. Yeah, I mean, I think they, you know, they were they were playing far back on the B bomb side anyway, but that is pretty rough. Interesting. First round for uh, for Dignitas with their rifles, and they just make that work immediately. Yeah, impeccable. Saving the key guns as well. They've got that AWP still for Halzerk. We should be able to squeak a buy here for Fnatic. Oh yeah, going so far. JW's just going straight for it, man. Glass cannon AWP. Let's dance. Two to one, Fnatic on the CT side in the lead. But uh, this is a full buy from Dignitas, and it's a force from Fnatic, and we get to see now who is going to emerge victorious. Double AUG as well in play here for Fnatic. Really cool to see. And this is a change of pace from Dignitas. Nothing overly aggressive this time. They were actually hoping for somebody to get aggressive in Brown Halls early, but uh, Fnatic will not oblige. Yeah, this time playing a little bit further forward is Golden. They're so low on nades on the Fnatic side. Yeah, it's it's a big problem on train. Still a minute and 20 seconds left, and you have, well, 
Three smokes and a Molotov. Scratch that. They just put out two of the smokes. They have one smoke and a Molotov left. That is... That's going to be an issue of Dignitas realizing. I'm sure they will. Without a doubt. They'll know that this is a weak buy. If it's a buy at all, they'll know that uh, if they forced, they're not going to have mountains of cash. So, multi-peak. A little bit late there, Heap, but okay. Just a fraction of, you know, the timings is a fraction off, but uh, you know, nobody was holding and said it's JW. Passive angle from him. He's got the advantage. Forrest going to step into it, and Forrest is dead. So that's the start the Fnatic were hoping for here. They did not spot the bomb, though, so still lacking a little bit of information, but an extra nade getting thrown in is going to tell them that there is still a man over here towards Ivy. Oh, Brolin, this is a very clever play. Harry, though, guessing it or seeing it, hard to know. Freiburg will pick him off. Krim's ready if they come for the smoke. Yeah, he's going to get that kill. It's an AWP on the other side. Holtzok actually hiding inside of the smoke. I was going to say, if he came through, that would probably get him killed. 15 seconds here, and Holtzok's going to get caught with a grenade in hand, leaving Harry alone in an unwinnable position, and he's going to go down at the end. So it's an expensive round for Fnatic, but I'm sure they're going to be quite glad they won it. Dignitas surely will force into this next round no matter what. That I, just, is. I can't see them not buying this. Yeah, that's they they have to, they have to, they have to. Both sides, all the money gonna go through. And if you're Dignitas, you just don't stop. It's gonna be Deagle for uh, Freiburg so he can get full nades. And over on the side of Fnatic, actually getting a pretty reasonable buy altogether. Thought of it again. Just no room for error for either of these teams now. They've invested everything in here. And again, Dignitas, slow play so far. Brolin's going to hear these footsteps. And with two players in pop, as well as Flusha holding close, this is going to get real fun here in a moment for Dignitas as they try and push onto the A site. All right, immediate response with the Molotov. That's, that's good fun. They're all grouping up over at the B side right now. They've got the bomb there and everything else. I mean, let's see. Harry's so far leading the, ch the sort of the, the walk towards upper. Will they throw any grenades or will they just try and take a step into the site? So far, no grenades. Yeah, this is going to be a, just a naked walkout, so no signal that it's happening. Flusher, he's going to know so late. Calling it in now, sure, but... Yeah, he's actually, it's incredible that he even gets that kill. That should not have been happening. Also, he's going to be going down. JW missed shot there. Harry actually standing around to challenge him, which is dangerous. Oh! And that could have been the end of Forest right there. But the bomb is planted. There's a flank coming in from the high ground. They're in so much trouble right here. Golden surely able to shoot someone in the back in a second. And also Brolan on the low ground here. Golden is going to be down. Brolan with the timing. Did they see him? I think they did now. Can't believe they're actually doing this Dignitas. Suddenly it's a two on two. They should have been slaughtered already. Harry now in a one versus two. And he's going to get the kill. Turn it into a one on one. JW over on the other side. Yep, just hide. Just try and make yourself hard to find. JW, he's trying to hunt him down, but already too much time is off the clock, and he's just going to try and see if he can maybe stay alive. He can't with this AWP. That is... I cannot believe they lost that round. I just have no idea how Fnatic don't crunch that. They were everywhere. I would love to see Golden's point of view from, from that round. That is so confusing. Uh, particularly if you're Fnatic right now, you're wondering how in the Sam hell is Harry the one who's top fragging for Dignitas of all the things. Harry's been struggling mightily with his individual performance so far this tournament, and yet it is Harry who's had the strong start here for uh, Dig. Well, now it's back to pistols. Freiburg out there looking for a challenge. Why not? Should be fine. Be a whole second Harry to pick up a little bit here, but... Well, that's the battle for the early economy, settled decisively in the in favor of Dignitas. That's <laughs> such a huge, uh, a huge way for them to break into this game. Well, they better do something. I mean, there you go, Crims. Nicely done. Heap is able to survive. Crims with the headshot, but it's not enough. He had a USP. I mean, that's that's what's really puzzling when it comes to this kind of performance coming in from Dignitas, because you know, going into this match. As far as Dignitas are concerned, I mean, there's one guy who has a 1.0 rating. And that is Halzerk. Everybody else is below that. And he's the one that hasn't been playing really yeah. that great throughout this best three. Harry had a 0.78 HLTV rating coming into this. That's nuts that he is... Uh, well, I mean, at least that he's having a strong third map here. But, I mean, that's compared to, like, Fnatic, who have uh, 1.24, 1.24, 1.13, 1.14... 
1.09. You know, it's like just in pure firepower, Fnatic should be outperforming Dignitas. But that's just not what we're seeing right now, at least, on this third map. No, it isn't. Oh, man. Well, JW sneakily stealing the Galil at the end of the round after the bomb had gone up. Tied up 3-3. Three to three. I'm re I think this is really, really interesting. It's really impressive. And remember, this map is still, I think, pretty ct sided if you know what you're doing. Especially if you get the economy, which I think is what probably Fnatic are struggling with at the moment. Flusher. Yeah, he really wanted that. Doesn't keep pushing. Probably not worth it either. There's a, a little bit of aggression from Golden up against the Galil, and that will take him down. Good job on Freiburg. This is is trending in an awful direction right now if you're a fanatic. Playing CT side train with no money, again, you're not going to have the AWP. You're not going to have all the grenades that you need to slow them down and to make sure they can't you know, jump out into that A yard. There's going to be a lot of problems. They're just going to keep multiplying throughout this. So, Forrest now taking a bit of a swing, actually just running the whole uh, yard, trying to get close, but he does get taken down eventually. Four on four, a little bit of a chance here from us. Not going to get the job done. And Brolin, he nearly got the kill. Harry's down to two health, but it doesn't really matter. Crims is going to get caught on the ladder itself. And now the flank here from JW. Can he get it in time? They're out there. They're lined up, almost stacked on top of each other. He does get the bomb. Deep grenade on Freiburg, forces him away. Oh, what a double kill for JW. And now Freiburg, he's low on health. He's going to get found by Flusher. Fnatic winning an absolutely critical round. Oh, man, with so much time on the clock there. 30 seconds left by the time that round is over. And that is just meaning that bo there's no rush. It's just that the, the, the flank actually gets the time to work for JW. He's not he's not forced to run into it. He's not forced to try and rush it. He can take his time and get maximum benefit. And while Fnatic, again, the crucial round win for them as far as being on the CT side. You can't really afford to get into these back and forth scenarios. You need to start chaining rounds together and building an economy. Whereas Dignitas now, it's going to be the full buy from them. Or the force. Rather, yeah. Just fully committing to this round. And it's absolutely based on a, on a on an expectation of what the Fnatic economy is like. Guarantee you, if they thought Fnatic had 10,000 in the bank, at, you know, at the, at the coming into this round, Dignitas might have said, ah, you know, let's just go for, for Tech 9 Steagles and, and armor and not that much more. And then we'll have a better buy down the road. But this is... It's a calculated attempt to try and, and break the Fnatic economy. And I completely endorse it. I think it's a very, very... If they can do this, my God, they're going to have a different uh, first half on their, on their hands if they can make this work. Oh, all of this selling here. Heap is just doing so much to try and draw attention towards this A site. And that is going to open it up. Golden gets picked by Halzerk immediately. Nice incendiary, though. Going to slow things down. Flusher holding close. Needs to get one, and he is going to get traded. Good spacing from Dignitas Vi. Again, solid in the fundamentals here. Dignitas making that work. Brolan ready for that flank. However, Heap gets caught. Won't but matter. still, it's Crimson Brolan 2v3. And uh, yeah, Brolan is so far away. So far away. And I mean, Crims may be risking the FAMAS here. Yeah, he's been found already. But it doesn't really matter. Wow, this is... It's quite something. If you re if you replay that round, I think what you'll find is that the smoke that goes down on the on the on the sidewalk ramp there is like first of all, it's maybe a second late, but it also goes deeper than they were expecting. And what that did is it allowed Holsuk, who was jumping down on the ramp, to so you see clear through it. If it had been a little bit further up, I think he would have jumped down and landed inside of it. And I don't think he could have got the kill on the connector player. There were some very, very, very thin margins in that round that, that played out in favor of Dignitas. It's mm. absolutely amazing. That actually would be comical almost to, to rewatch because there's, there was not a lot separating that from being like a, a failed attempt with the AWP to being absolutely perfect, leaving Flusher alone with an MP9. So, wow, four to four. This is so cool. Dignitas is doing an amazing job right now. It's I having a hard time trying to oversell it because uh, it's, it's not easy. We've all seen how good Fnatic have been playing this, uh, you know, throughout this so far. Just in terms of the firepower and everything else. Full stack on the AR, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were they were ready for it, Fnatic. Hoping that this was going to be the point that uh, Dignitas were going to try and rush things. It's still looking like they're going to get their wish. Let's see if Brolin can do something. Yes, he's going to find one. But again, 
Dignitas Vi, it's admirable. They have they're really good on the spacing. Although as I say that, we do get an AK and an attempt at a shot. JW so bold. It's a two on two now, but oh, oh. I was just about to praise him, Anders, and I might have cursed him. Dignitas, that is an unforced error that ends up costing him. Yeah, one more player in that corner than they were expecting. That's pretty devastating. Fnatic should not be close to winning this round, but also out here. He's got 45 seconds. The bomb is all the way back there. I love the fact that JW just relocated as far as he did, shooting Holzweg in the back. But even if he hadn't found him out in the open like that, it's just when you when you make yourself that hard to guess, you know, you, it's just very, very tricky when you're playing alone like that. Holzweg not happy about that. Fnatic, an absolute st stealing this round away. This right here. Unreal. I was about to say that the Ignatius are so good with their spacing. There's always somebody there to trade. They're doing a really good job of using the buddy system. One guy runs point. If he goes down, the other guy's right behind him so that, boom, you're trading, and that CT should never be getting more than one kill. And then, of course, that happens, and you have a monster round win for Fnatic. They're just not allowing Dignitas to chain rounds together on the T side. Same could be said for Dignitas, not allowing uh, Fnatic to chain rounds together, except that uh, now Dignitas are finally deciding to tap out. It is going to be a hard ego coming in here from Dignitas. And they were they were good enough to get the bomb plant last time around here on B. Herod jumping around making noise. It's just an absolute. I mean, the, listen, the end of the last map on Vertigo, the second half is completely ridiculous. Um, and it seems like we're just we're just continuing that same vein. It's looking like a waterfall again. Well, Flash is going to be here. Easy shot down of Freiburg, and the rest are trying to come down on the sidewalk. And they're going to get the kill there. Bomb is on Holzerk. He's got the health, so even a grenade won't stop him. But um, I don't know. I mean, I think this is okay. Yeah. Fnatic right now, just make sure you don't lose anything else. This is the uh, losing just golden. Fine. Okay. Giving up the bomb plant, maybe that's a bit annoying, but I still think it's it's just fine. Building the, the economy plant, yeah. is the only thing that matters right now for Fnatic outside of winning rounds, obviously. 100%. 100% you're on point there. Uh, that was a big win for Dignitas, just getting that bomb plant. Solid work. Trying to change it up, but again, that B site, just open for business. Double AWP still here for Fnatic. And as far as uh, Dignitas are concerned, Halzerk had enough to get one of his own. So this is going to be it. The full buy on both sides. Who's going to come ahead? And it's two rounds in a row for Fnatic. And I point that out just because if you look, it's just been nothing but back and forth between these two teams. No team has been able to string together three rounds yet so far this half. So this is it. Golden opportunity for Fnatic to take some control. Monster nade onto Harry. That was sick. Brolan is pinned though. Oh, he gets the timing. Unreal. He is such a thorn in their side now. Yeah, they knew where he was. And it, he's just so determined to get these kills. It's actually just amazing to watch him play, isn't it? Brolan now just playing... Almost inside of the smoke. There uh, might have been a shadow showing. It doesn't even matter. He's going to find Holzberg anyway. He back here. And again, just don't lose anyone else. R amazing round out of Brolin. No way. The new generation, man. He's just got him downloaded. He's got him figured out. That was so sick. And no bomb plant. Only the one kill happening there. Fnatic. In the space of a couple of rounds here. Now really turning it in their favor. Crims is 11-6. JW is 10-4 right now, so... But, I mean, the rest are not that far behind. Triple HE, are they going to try and throw it from... from oh, they're running down there? All right. All right JW's yeah. been pretty consistently holding Ivy. Yeah, see so if they can blow someone up. Yeah, see if you can just get him. And JW is holding Ivy once again. Only issue is that he's got Crims backing him up now, and Crims has got the AUG. So it's going to be very hard to uh, land any kind of tricky nades here. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that's going to kill him. No. Oh, it just barely caught the edge. How is that possible? Come on. Dignitas are still not throwing their grenades. They really want to, but they sort of have to, you know, they have to line them up. be hilarious if one of them gets killed with a grenade in hand and it blows up the rest. <laughs> yeah. oh, every, everyone, cross your fingers. Make that happen. It's, it's, it would be perfect. Oh, there's a little bit of one, but JW will still get the double in return. So not the effect we're all hoping for at all. Certainly not the one I was hoping for. And that's Harry out of the picture now. So the remaining two players for Dignitas are over here at Ivy, and Fnatic know it. 
And Brolin even pushing into main as well by the looks of things. So uh, it's going to be just a hard hold coming in. No, nicely done again. They work so well together, Dignitas, when they peek these angles. They're peeking together as a pair. Let's see, though. Flusha should be ready for this. Yeah, spotted him. Misses the shot. All right, that doesn't go through the box. 20 seconds here, and, you know, again, winning the round, probably not on the menu at any point during this. But getting a couple of kills is, you know, something a third one would have been. That would have been amazing. They could buy once again, but we're at that 8-4 to four score line, and Fnatic have that luxury of having all of the grenades. They're, like, they're not worried about the economy as much anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's up to Dignitas to show us if they have any kind of a plan to, to break through, then now is the time for it. Nearing the end of the first half. Freiburg is 2-11 and 11 right now. And Heap, who is, again, the hero of, of Vertigo, down there at 5-10. to 10. So also, some of their players having a, a slightly harder time getting into the, the map here. Looks like they want B one more time. Why not? Crimson, time, Golden are over there. Yeah, this time it's going to be the hard hold on the side itself. Nice nade. Let's see, fresh smoke going down. The follow-up HE. They are getting mauled. Dignitas by. And there's JW peeking, gets confirmation. The HE doesn't do the damage, but he is still going to force their hands. They have to try and push onto the site now. And, well, again, Golden and Krim should be ready for him, except that Freiburg gets both kills. The triple for Freiburg. And JW takes a bullet to the face as well. Just like that, Dignitas managed to overwhelm that defense, and it felt like Fnatic had everything going for them that round. They had everything going for them. It didn't just feel like it. Similar. I have no idea how they fucked up this round. <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I just cannot believe it. That's one of the most... <laughs> Listen, you, you land two incredible grenades before any bullets are exchanged that just decimate the Dignitas lineup. Oh my god, Freiburg. Yeah, that was sick. What an absolute monster. This is out. Okay, well, fair play. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. That is that's a huge actual wrecking ball in that round. But uh, again, like you're getting shot in the back by J. I don't know. Like still, they should not have lost that round. But Freiburg just decided he was going to win it. Fair play, cool Freiburg. That's very well done. Golden out here having a battle for his life, and surely they're going to be throwing some grenades at him. There's the Molotov. He's going to smoke it off. No one there to help him yet. I mean, Crims is sort of legging it over here, and there's a flank that's going to be coming in not soon, but in, you know, 20 seconds if he stays around. It's JW once again trying to go for the flank. If he, Yeah, just for the, the only thing that can't happen is him going down. Just stay alive, because then now JW's position is really interesting. Freiburg is there. Oh, he's crouched in, expecting it. Freiburg is a genius. He yeah. must be. He's dialed in now. That was sick. It's all these little details here. But now he's thinking, okay, maybe go and check out uh, that A site. Crims has rotated over towards B, and there is nobody here. That smoke going down as well is just going to keep him here as well, keep, keep him on the B site. And so now Crims obviously knows the gig is up. This is nuts, isn't it? Hmm. Absolutely nuts. All of his teammates died so far away as well, so... Can't really go and get gear or anything like that. This is just going to be a, a wash as far as this round is concerned. But, I mean, Dignitas, man, they are fighting back against Fnatic. So we're tied up one-to-one -one so far in this series. This is the third map if you're just tuning in. And if you're just tuning in, now's the time as well to follow the stream. Make sure that you are live and not missing any of the action here at Flashpoint 2. We have the whole week, whole week of the playoffs going to be played out here. You do not want to miss any of these matches. They are going to be sick. And so follow the stream. You'll know when we're live. Freiburg has seven kills, and five of them are in the last two rounds. So that that is a, a pretty stunning way to get back into a map. Getting six rounds overall for Dignitas here, going into the 15th round, and breaking the Fnatic, Fnatic economy at the end of it. I mean, six rounds, so I'm already plenty satisf satisfied as I'm Dignitas thinking, like, that's good. We have enough to, to have a real fight here. To get a seventh round, that is that's just gonna gonna get you to a point where I think now you know you could actually you could actually finish this and win it against Fnatic, which would be, just would be a real shock for, to everyone. But they've def they're definitely earning it round for round here. Nice shot from Golden, dude, catching Forest. 
That was a nice shot. That is not easy. Forrest was dialed for that, too. Okay. Man advantage now for Fnatic. JW is still pushing up, but, but they just have permanently someone on JW watch at the moment. Like, there's always Freiburg. like, yeah, you're not going to do it again. Not for a third time. No, Gold is dead. Yep, 100%. Nicely done there by Heap. That one shot from Golden throws it out of whack, and so we're into a four-on-four four now. Look at how paranoid they are. And well, they should be. Unreal. He gets that second shot. If he would have taken down Holzerk again, I mean, Dignitas, if you look at the just the money coming into this one, they should be winning it. It's a three-on-three, three, so it's now it's a bit odd, isn't it? The AWP is miles away from this B-bomb site, so it would have to be up to Brolin and Crims. They both have Deagles. It can be done, but if you start missing shots now, you're not going to get a chance to redo it. Holzerk tagged up early. That makes a big difference. And now the orb is going to be rotating in. Just going all in here, Fnatic, on the B-bomb site. Crims with the one shot. He's going to go down afterwards, and Brolin getting hunted. Oh, he finds just a little bit of an edge there, and flush it to finish it. A very unlikely round. Fnatic should be thanking their lucky stars they get that ninth round. This is a, overall an incredibly weird first half. Like, this whole game has been very strange. <laughs> it is entertaining, it. but I don't even know what to say. Man, we'll see how this goes in the second half. It's coming up after the break and the end of this series. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nine to six at the end of the half here. It's the third and final map of this series between Fnatic and Dignitas here at Flashpoint. And uh, nine to six is a pretty pedestrian scoreline, but the first half was anything but that. It's a very strange, very odd map that we've been seeing here. Hard to really summarise it. All I can use to describe right now is, you know, 
the Willem Dafoe, you know, there was a firefight! All over the map, wasn't there? Just everywhere. Bullets flying. Who knows who they were connecting with, and it was just all over the place. And there you go. That sums it up. Through the smoke, Hauser's going to pick up the first kill of this round. Takes Golden down. Man advantage now for Dignitas. And what a clever play from Hera. They're never going to expect it, but Hauser robs him. Steals it. It's all fine. Great pistol round so far. Holzer coming back in with a bit of a vengeance here. Triple on him. And bomb is down. Don't think it's ever going to be planted. Just on the side of walk there. Flusher sneaking in, but surely just all, you know, a little bit performative at this point in time. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. Huh. I think Dignitas is setting themselves up for a, for, for a pretty big upset right here. The fact that they got six rounds, should have had seven. I mean, the fact that Fnatic sold the last round, there's no doubt about it, but... I'm going to be so mad at Fnatic. I put yeah. 750 points on this. Oh, yeah, you're in a little bit deeper than I am, at least. <laughs> Although I picked MIBR for the second one, so I don't know how safe I am. I might be crazy too. I picked so. MIBR too, though. So I mean, I I might very well lose both my predictions today. Well, Russia. One one little Gets kill. three hundred dollars, Anders. Come on, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, they are. <laughs> no, no, not not on board with that. Not celebrating it, are we? Not <laughs> not yet. I think Fnatic. I, I actually just c I can't believe how strange this game has been. I still can't really get over it. Mm. Well, Ven Remember Dignitas barely squeaking out all those rounds on CT side Vertigo as well to get yeah. here. It's so I mean this has just been by the skin of their teeth. A very abnormal game for uh, for for many different reasons. All for masters except for the orc. Don't see that all the time. Getting ready in case Fnatic wanted to pull something crazy. Not that they could have done so much again without the bomb plant. I mean, you're not going to have any kind of like a surprise AK or, or Krieg or something silly in the second round. Like, you don't get that opportunity. All Glocks all across the board here. But <laughs> it means probably they're going to have, you know, for Masters versus AKs in the next round. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, that was the bomb as well. And so Fnatic not doing as well as Dignitas. See, Fnatic could have gone just all five towards B, try to waterfall, waterfall onto the site the way Dignitas did, get that bomb plant, get that bonus money. Not happening, Anders. Just not happening. Not at all interested. All right. Get. Yeah, and look at the economy. I mean, again, it is going to be for Masters, but if they lose the next round, they, they'll just be able to rebuy into it with, with a better better economy, basically. So. I mean, I get that Force is getting old, but come on, man. Why why does all of his gear have to look dirty and rusted? He's been fighting for that long, Anders. Yeah. Just out, out in the wild. Out in the wilderness. It's not wrong, is it? He survived this long by crawling into a bear carcass at night. <laughs> it's cold. <Perfect. laughs> it's cold in Sweden. <laughs> Some, wouldn't put it past him. Ooh. Ooh. Not quite. Timing just barely off. No, this is going to get spicy, though. JW could eat some nade damage. Uh, going to dodge it for now and the follow up as well. I like this. Dignitas wanting to. Uh, prod Fnatic at the beginning of this round, not let them get too comfortable here on their T side. Still holding on to the grenades here on the Dignitas side. That's pretty important. Again, when you, especially when you only have the masses, those grenades could make all the difference. Brola now being sent on a mission. There's a lot of people out here. He's actually very exposed, and he's going to go down. Heat will get the kill on Golden as well at the same time, and now they're behind the smoke, and this is where those grenades suddenly come into play. Molotov to slow them down. Smoke again going into T-Main, so they keep, they keep having to push through the same smoke, and they're all stuck behind it, except for JW, who sort of made his way out. Flush is still going down, and this is looking so good for Dignitas right here. Two on four, and just a, a very, very important round here. They don't care about losing so much to Famasis. That's not, that's not that important. Be great if they could upgrade into AKs, obviously, but right now just shutting down Fnatic here would be such a huge step in the right direction. No way does Freiburg turn away at that moment as the bomb crosses the open. Yeah, <laughs> just missed them. Just missed them. I don't think it matters, though. There's only 20 seconds, so at this point, Fnatic need to kill. Then they need to, you know, try and plant the bomb and maybe, like, you know, get one more kill, fake it or something. But you, how do you do that with 20 seconds? Now it's 10. JW's going to pick up one, but there's nothing left to do here. Try and get some more rifles if you can. It's not going to be happening. And, yep, both AKs saved and the org. This is a, a huge round from Dignitas. And no bomb plant.
This could not have gone better. Again, no bomb plant. No bomb plant yet so far on this T side for Fnatic. Yeah, we're just getting, I mean, it's just bullets into smoke and eventually finding the kills. Now, let's see what do Fnatic have for us here. Actually investing a little bit of money in this round. It's a half buy, Kevlar pistols. Broline is going to be the one having to buy the nades. And I was thinking that we could just go for a very fast B, and it's looking like it is going to be fast B here from uh, Fnatic. I like this. Just get, just try and get that bomb down. That's the name of the game here. Well, they've been slowed down. And Forrest is kind of there. That's a pretty good grenade to soften them up. Going to be some counter nades coming out, but let's just see how easy it'll be. They do line up for a little bit of a spray down. Harry with two big kills. Could have easily been more than that. Bomb is being planted, and no grenades will be stopping Crims either. So yeah, some kills and a bomb plant. It's not so bad. Roland's picked up an AK-47. That's really always dangerous. He doesn't have any armor, and actually will get taken down. Freiburg just, I think, guessing through that smoke. JW, I like the idea of being able to go back here and flank through C-Connector, but it only really will work if your teammates are still alive inside of the site to distract and, and all the rest of it. They're going to be on that bomb, and JW cannot stop it, even, even if he gets some kills here. He can't even do that, so... That is going to be 10 to 9 in favor of Faring Dignitas. I, just, I think I'm so impressed. I'm really, really impressed by the level of game that Dignitas has brought to his best of three. I, I, I said freely, I definitely have underestimated them. I think everybody has, Anders. Everybody, on, I mean, everybody bet Fnatic with their points. So uh, it's pretty clear here that Dignitas, much like Envy yesterday against Big, yeah, and nobody was predicting it. And again, that was a fantastic third map, and Big just barely got the job done. Uh, Dignitas right now are setting themselves up for success. They've got a little bit of money in the bank now that three people keep surviving here, so they have a little bit of margin. This is at the big round here for Fnatic. Flush up. See? Unforced errors. Starting to feel just a little bit of pressure here on the side of Fnatic. Ooh. A little bit of a wall bang there. Freiburg going to get tickled. It does so little damage <laughs> with the AK. But at least putting him on notice. Outside of B once again, same kind of a setup inside of B with Forrest and Harry both uh, both here. This is just the most straightforward approach here from Fnatic. Yeah, they got Golden lurking on the other side. So if they get the bomb down, it could get real interesting here. Brolin, he's not being put into play so much. He's, he keeps getting uh, downed very early on in some of these rounds. Traded, though. Still at 50 seconds. And Bomb now down and should be planted. Harry's got the right idea. Oh, but JW, last possible second that he could have got that kill. That's huge. That's so sick. That was so important. And, well, no, and he's got the angle on Halzerk as well. No way for Halzerk to have an advantage peeking into that. And this will be Fnatic's... First round here in the second half. After four in a row for Dignitas, Fnatic finally going to get on the board. And that is all, well, due to a very straightforward approach from Fnatic, just hitting their shots. JW, the hero. It, it kind of sucks for Brolan, though. I mean, I know you're, it's like, it's worth mentioning just because of what a crazy performance Brolan has had so far this series. But it seems like on train T side, he's just the entry man. Yeah. So it's just like walk in and die, Brolan. And the rest of us will have to play, you know, we'll play cleanup. So either Brolan eviscerates everything in front of him, or he, you know, like most of the time, like 90% of the time on entry, you're just going to die because there's too many angles for you to worry about. This is really... I, so many things in this round that were just on the edge, right? Because the fact that Brolin goes down first, mm. it's not like it's not like Brolin goes down and then there's an immediate, like, double kill in return from, like, anyone on Fnatic. There's a huge break in between those kills happening where... If you're the if you're the T side pushing that, it's not it's not exactly amazing that you sort of have to, you know, break. I think we're gonna have a real restart here, but yeah, yeah we might have a tech. the fact that you have to sort of slow it down and wait around while that smoke is up on the high ground or anything else like that could have definitely gone horribly wrong. So, bit of an interesting uh, round there. But yeah, JW definitely, especially that first kill, the fact that he didn't go down, that is real important. All right. Well, I mean, I still don't. I have no idea who's gonna win this right now. Forrest is uh, lacking quite far behind in kills him and Heap at the moment. And obviously Heap's already proven, not just in this best of three, but I think in some of the other games we've seen throughout Flashpoint, that he's actually been he's been an interesting character to watch so far. Um, and Forrest, I mean, 
you know, how long is he going to stay at seven? You saw him again, just to, to recall to Vertigo, where he was minus one and four, and then ended up just backtracking the whole thing and just became an incredible player in that map. So if he can just step it up and, and you know, start to get into this game, maybe that's all they need. It would certainly, considering how well things have gone, if four starts hitting shots too, it might push them over the edge here. Well, they are quick, lightning fast. Brolin catching heat. Yeah, he's got nowhere to stand. And Freiburg's in a lot of trouble too. He gets that kill. Oh, ne nearly follows it up. That would have been amazing if he could have done it. Brolin with a double, and they take that A site. I mean, they don't even ask any questions. They just grab it, and Dign Dignitas has to walk away here. Yeah, there really isn't a whole lot that you can hope to do now if you're Dignitas, Forrest, and Halzerk. Well, you know, Forrest isn't really going to get a chance to chime in. It's already over. It's already done. And so Fnatic, yeah, that is just brute force approach. And as you guys saw, you know, either it goes great for you and Brolin is able to uh, create that space for his team to work around him. Or you take a bullet in the face like last time for Brolin. This time he survives, Anders. Can count as lucky stars. It's the 10%. I mean, that's... It's also sort of the nature of what he's been doing a lot on this train map, right? If you get sent in first, yeah, a lot of the time th that will happen. But if you have even one round like this where you can, you know, you can step it up and, and get one good entry, I think nearly a double as well, um, then it's all good. It's all fine. Like one of those rounds, you know, will, will be worth so much. Looking for the last couple of people here on the Dignitas side. Oh, yeah, a little bit, almost a wall bang there, Brolin. Not going to try and do it, waiting for us on the other side, no. but that is all worth it. Stealing the money away from Dignitas. 11 to 10 now, and we're back into this weird position where no one knows who's going to win now. The money is certainly going to be favoring Fnatic. Should be a round of eco coming in here from Dignitas. Yeah, a little bit of money invested into this. That's Freiburg dropping a scout for Halzerk. Uh, yeah, that out of the two players to survive for Dignitas, it's definitely not force that you wanted. You wanted Halzerk with that AWP. Uh, it's, uh, it's just the way it's going to play here. And Dignitas are going to have to weather the storm again in this round. Forrest with that M4 put himself in the position to actually have quite the impact. Going to catch him looking the wrong way. Two there, though. Flusha and Crims barely survive, and they are going to be pressing forward. Now JW's got the angle. Harry up close, though. Forrest softened him up, and that's enough. They're in a position to capitalize off this Dignitas. If they could turn this around, I mean, Forrest probably should have had that double kill. Ooh, the timing is so good for that shot, isn't it? Brolin going to go straight for the bomb plant, but right on top of him is a Deagle on Heap. Is he going to see Brolin? He's got no real reason to look for that smoke just yet, so he's seconds away. Oh, the flashbang coming in. Oh, and it saves Brolin. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Bomb is still ticking away. Hall Sir glow on health now, and Golden just rushing into the bomb site. Going to get that straight kill on Freiburg. And Hall Zerk, I mean, there's nothing you do here. That is the timing. That, fl that flashbang is obviously not meant for Heap at all, but it just ruins his day. And they're going to be walking back. He doesn't have a kit or anything, so Brolin, yeah, not even going to go down. But even if he had it, that would not have worked out. So another round for Fnatic. They they should have lost that 10 different ways. Forrest should have had the double kill. <laughs> Heap should have had that kill on Brolin. And then, you know, like that's probably doable. What what a mad round. It is just crazy that Forrest not, is not able to get a single kill there. That's a kick. It is. Wow. Wow, but this is, this is now the point where, oh man, we have to go for another round of eco for Dignitas. Freiburg with the mag seven. Let's go Freiburg. Where are we taking it? Surely going to be able to watch Pop Dog. It is a classic. Golden going to go down and well, Freiburg's actually run back around. <laughs> he got the kill. That's all that matters. Yep. And well, got the kill that his teammates now are going to have to worry about what else is in store for them here. Fnatic with four alive. Going to take their time. They've got the superior firepower. And while now it's a matter, it's a matter of speculating, what is it that Dignitas are going to try and pull in the next round when they actually have the money? Double AWP could be an option. Could be a fun option, an entertaining option for us at least. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it, definitely a classic on train, so why not? Some damage being done here. I mean, if you can find one more kill, that would be that would be really interesting. Hall Cirk added with the scout. Is he going to be able to... It's going to be nothing but headshots here if it's going to work out. Grims. Ooh. That looked like he ducked right under it. Fair play. 13 to 10. Now the scoreline. There is a lot of aggressi aggressive uh, movement that you could do on the CT side of this map that Dignitas haven't really done. I mean, partly because the game has been so mad that I don't know if they've even had like the space for, for doing any of it. But mm -hmm. 
Maybe they're gonna do that. Double orb is instead. It doesn't mean they can't go aggressive. I mean, you could go, you could go one rifle, one orb down at Ivy, for instance. But see what they come up with here. Oh, this is gonna be the one. And this is where all eyes should be on Forest. We do have the timeout getting called, however, by Fnatic. So we'll have a little bit of time to uh, to contemplate what's going to come at us here. And Fnatic are going to be the ones calling the shots. So I'm very curious to see where they decide. Pretty sure they're going to get a read on this. And it's definitely something to consider that there could be a double op coming at you from Dignitas now after a d two rounds of eco. It's got to make you think that Dignitas were trying to save that money to really invest into this round. And so one of the most expensive strategies you can go for is this, double op. Yeah, throw it all in there. And so, yeah, Fnatic should be ready for this. They shouldn't be getting caught off guard. Now, it's a question of whether or not, you know, when it's double op, do you just accelerate? And that's what I'm curious. That's what I want to see here from Fnatic. What's the name of the game? Straight into Brown Halls, maybe? It's just hard when they have so many grenades. Usually it could be very, very tough. Three-man push towards the B-bomb site for the CT side, so they want to go aggressive. And that's not a bad idea. Both the orps over at the A bomb site, so just holding long range. They're actually stuck over there. They're hoping for Fnatic to show up so that they can spring the trap instead of just continuously pushing. But none of that is working out, and you can't keep holding this forever, right? Yeah. You know, eventually you you, you must be thinking or it be like, mm, this is this is starting to feel really weird. No one is showing up. What's happening? Hmm. It's an incredible trap. It's like a three layer trap that's going on over here at B. If they show up. I'd say it's got a good chance of working. You'd think eventually they will as well. So they're going to want to try and get map control over here. Just to make sure that Dignitas are going to be left wondering. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be the guy on the enough. low ground that's going to see them first. And then Heap will swing in for the fight. And at the same time, Harry will do it as well. Bit of a shoulder peek here. They know that it's coming. Oh, they get the kill. And the follow-up there is what I'm talking about. A three-layer trap. And Holzerk will get that kill. Two versus one. Oh, man. A lot of waiting in that round. Almost a minute of waiting around. And then it all just explodes at the same time. Brolin will go for the bomb plant. He's had a bit of a tough game entering a lot of these bomb sites. But now is his chance to clutch it. One versus two. And... I don't know. He makes it back around E-Box. They do not have a Molotov to block him off. This is a very powerful position. If he can just hang around here and play for time, it's not such a bad idea. And even if they smoke it, that won't help them that much. Not in this one. He has no way. Oh, he catches him. Unreal. Peaks takes Herit. Now Forrest. He knows the op was in the back line. He knows where Forrest should be coming from. And sure enough, Roland with the spray. Forrest barely survives. 23 health. And we're taking down on the bomb. There's no more time for Forrest to be playing these games. And he is going to go down. Roland with the clutch. The young gun for Fnatic. The star makes it happen and puts his team up to 14 rounds. So close. That is that's a very, very important clutch. <sighs> He's back up there tied with kills from Flusher. I mean, Fnatic are... They're really waking up at the moment. 14 to 10, winning five last last five rounds in a row here. Four HEs on the Dignitas side, looking to explode someone in T main. I don't know if that's going to happen. So far, not enough damage, certainly. JW, actually. Wait, what? Get some damage. I don't know how Freiburg lives, but he does. The leg? I think Golden's going to take him out. Uh, heap and whoa, okay, all sorts of kills going into main now. The push is there, but the counter reaction is immediate from Fnatic. They go charging onto the B site. If you're gonna get aggro A, there's a flank. A very, very quick flank here. Forrest, oh, he's gonna get caught. He's gonna say they just need one Deagle headshot here to make it doable. Also, it's been spotted, and now he saved the orb. I, it's so painful because you wanna try and do it, but it's, yeah, it's not feasible. And they need that orb, though, later on is the problem, so. Maybe he could, or maybe Holso could still pick it up. Yeah. Pack it. I mean, again, he doesn't have a kit or anything, so the dream of going for this is is not really. It's not happening. It's far fetched. Fifteen to ten, Fnatic at series point right here. Holso, though, I mean, look at him individually stepping it up. Twenty-three kills. Harry at uh, twenty-two. Those two are playing a really, really impressive game right now, but. Is it going to be quite enough? Whole Fnatic team, though, is playing very well. It is a bit of a redemption performance here from uh, Harry, isn't it? For sure. Considering he's just been struggling the most for Dignitas, on Dignitas, throughout this tournament. And here on the final map, at least, you know, dropping 20-plus frags, that's, that's a big deal. 
That's very, very impressive. 26th round. Last chance. Five of them in a row here for Dignitas. Flusher hanging around. Molotov in hand and everything else. All right. What's the push forward? He's does have a friend in main, Roland. Oh, and it's going to be a blind shot through. Just guessing. Oh, Roland in the early with the follow-up. If he would have got that kill too, man, what a disaster that would have been. It's still not good, but... Picking them apart. Three-man push coming at Ivy eventually, which will put Freiburg in a very, very tough position no matter what. So, Freiburg is out in the open. He's got some backup now. Forrest has moved a little bit forward. I don't know. This Ivy push, though, I think is, is a very, very good move at the moment. Well, here's the smoke. Three players on A right now for Dignitas. And yeah, Brolan trying to just throw them a little out of whack as the Ivy push, you're right, coming through. Smoke goes down. Going to create some room here for Fnatic. 50 seconds on the clock. And it's four is getting close, turning away from that flash. He could be thinking, when's the time? Yep, to pull the trigger. And unfortunately for him, nobody in his line of sight. If they lose one person in this A-bomb side, the whole thing is going to collapse. Because then out of main and pop dog, the last two players will show up. JW goes down. Holzerk, that could nearly be a lineup for a double. It's pretty good. He's got the double kill after all. Forrest is going to take down Golden, but now Flusher sneaking in. The bomb is back there with 20 seconds. Flusher's so far away. Brolin almost has to run back here. You know, take the fight, get the bomb, go back and plant it. Unless they can get simultaneous kills. This would be a disgusting way to win it if they do it. Flusher, yeah, he's legging it. A little bit of panic here. Forrest goes down. Ten seconds. Brolin, knife out. You gotta get that plum plant here. Seven seconds. Six seconds. He has to run straight for it. Oh, and he's gonna get caught. And Harry makes a run for it. <laughs> what a ridiculous round. Dignitas on 11. Man, he almost threaded that needle. So outrageous, these rounds. How does that happen? Bomb gets not planted, and so it is going to be just a squeak win there for Dignitas. 11 rounds, and this was Flusher through the smoke to kick it off. Hauserk, though, these two kills, I mean, made all the difference. They really did. They needed to line up for a double at the end there. That would have been incredible, but... 15-11, Dignitas need another four rounds to get this into overtime. Let's see it. That was six rounds in a row for Fnatic. Yeah. Put on a bit of a break here. JW running straight for it. Yeah, just goes for the wall bang just in case. But no luck this time. It must be so nerve wracking to play against JW. Just because you know he's going to go for those shots through the smoke, through the wall, for the wall bangs, the clever stuff. You're never going to get comfortable against him as an opper. I mean, Holsoik's been heavily outdoored by him in this whole best of three, although in yes. this map it is different. But um, yeah. They don't have that much to work with here on the Dignitas side. Oh, no. <laughs> Flusher, he did it in the last round. Down at Pop Dog, and now he's at it again. Senor Vac. I know. For and Forrest, I mean, again, he's had, <laughs> he's had a very, very hard game here. Ten kills on him overall, and just to go out in such a critical round like that. <laughs> I hope that there was a little grin or something on Flusher's face when he just gets that shot through the smoke there. He's got that smug smile on <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, one of the best features of Flusher in many ways. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. A little bit of Ivy with the bomb as well. Very undefended A bomb site. I mean, main with an MP9. Freiburg, if you get a double kill right now, there's going to be drinks all around for you. He's only going to get the one. And now, now alone out there is Heap with the FAMAS. It is looking so grim at the moment for them. 25 seconds. Oh, he gets the shot through. Turns around and tries to do it 20 seconds. And actually, they're in a two on three. Holsuck's shown up at the, at the same time. He just bought enough for it. JW will find him. And now it's Harry, 14 seconds. He's going to drop one, but the bomb is on the other side, already being planted. And JW, he's going to go straight for it. Spots him out. He just needs that one shot with the AW. He's going to go so far away. I almost thought he was going to keep going back towards CT spawn, but no, he's just relocated deep into this. There is a kit on Harry, so he could maybe try and, you know, fake it out a couple of times here and see if he get JW to go into it. He's waiting, and there's the kill that he needed. 21 on JW, and a 16 to 11 scoreline as Fnatic bring down Dignitas, but it did take all three maps, and it was not easy. What a battle. Broline is still stewing that he didn't clutch that last one there. I should've got it done, boys. I, I should've got it done. No, you won. You won. That is it. A 2-1 victory over Dignitas by Fnatic. The favored team, Fnatic, they won. But I don't think Dignitas can be ashamed of their performance. They oh really no. did put up a fight. And they forced a third map on Fnatic. Last time these two teams faced, they got 2-0'd in you know, ignominious fashion. Now, 
Yeah, just think on like the progression and the and the improvement from Dignitas when we saw them early in the tournament to now. It's actually really cool. Like what a great job they've done. Um, but yeah, Fnatic is a terrifying opponent. So this is what we end up with. It's sick to see, and it's exciting as well. You know, just as far as the playoffs is concerned. Yeah. Right? We're in the upper bracket now. Fnatic are bracket that they're going to be progressing through. Yeah. And while what's great is that we still have OG MIBR today. I know. <laughs> So Dignitas are going to play against either OG or MIBR in the first round of the lower bracket. One of them is going to go down. It's going to be wild. But that's sick. I can't wait. That's happening uh, Yeah, next best of three, but not before we go to a break. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. This Scandinavian derby went the full distance. And although Dignitas 5 pushed it further than anybody thought possible, Fnatic are the ones to hang on to the series. They'll be starting off their run into the upper bracket. But Christine, this wasn't necessarily the Fnatic uh, we know and love in some of those moments on train. So in some ways, in some ways, small ways, we did see the charm of Fnatic, you know, all the flanks coming out of JW. One thing we didn't see though, Freya, is the knife coming out of JW. That kind of always solidifies and seals the deal for Fnatic. But I am glad to see them uh, sealing the deal here and closing out this train. Things were getting rough there for a little bit, especially in the first half. I'm glad to see the double up having so much success for Fnatic, and I'm glad to see Broland just being a boss in that pop dog once again, shutting it down completely. And this time around, the difference between Train and Vertigo, this time the clutches, it went Fnatic's way. Fnatic are so good at being sweaty in those smokes, just biding their time, finding the picks, and uh, Dignitas's uh, defense has just collapsed in that moment. Yeah, the problem is, basically, the gamble they took when the Dignitas guys picked Vertigo was, like, not much information on us. You can't really know what we're going to do, but you weren't going to get away with that twice. Like, I thought both teams were pretty poor on the CT side of train here. They both looked a bit lost. They were doing just gambles from the beginning of the round, not even based on information. Like, when we gave Mad Lions credit for that yesterday, it looked like they did it on purpose because they had a read on what the opponent wanted to do. This just looked like teams were a bit lost, and they were just praying, if you come in, uh, maybe the three guys there kill you. So that's why it came down to the clutches again and much, much better performance for Fnatic this time around. Well, we'll be able to check in with the side of Fnatic and see exactly how they were feeling in that third and final map as Monty has Crims on the line with him. Indeed. Welcome, Crims, and congratulations on your narrow win here with Fnatic. Uh, we, we're going to go back and talk about some of the maps in this series. So when we talked to Vendetta after map one, he was really surprised that you guys picked Overpass. Was there a reason behind selecting that map? Is that something you're hoping to show further down the road in Flashpoint? Um, no, actually, we need some variation uh, to play all the maps and we need to build confidence on it because we know really good, but we haven't played that good on officials. So it was a good chance to show it. 
I mean, you guys were really dominant on that map, but the next couple maps were a bit rough for you. Your coach, Samuelson, said you expected the Vertigo pick. Is that true? Because it it looked a little bit shaky there for you guys for a bit. Uh, yeah, we expected it, but it's it's hard to play against teams that you have no clue what they're doing. Like It's really hard and rough, but I guess we played okay, but we could play a lot better than we showed. Were you surprised by some of the clutch ability from the Dignitas players when you were on Vertigo? No. No? You Not respect impressed. them? <laughs> Not impressed at all? Okay. <laughs> Not impressed by their clutch ability. So this is something that you would say is more your own faults for losing that map. You miss playing situations. Nah, I mean, they play good. I'm going to give them that. But it was more that we played badly. That, they playing good. That's that's a fair response. That's a fair response. So you hadn't seen this roster of Dignitas on train either. Uh, was this something that made you a little bit nervous heading into the third and final map? Uh, no, I, I believe our train is really good, actually. Uh, we struggle a bit on city side now. Uh, I have no clue why, but we just we usually are really good and strong on city side on both these sides. So I don't know what went wrong, but felt like we lost the economy a bit. Were you relieved with Brolin making some of those clutches at the end? Because it looked like Dignitas might be able to run away with the game. Uh, I mean, the young gun shows why he's so good. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a plus to having in his team. But yeah. I would say so. All right. We're going to bring in our analysts now. So Potter and Freya and Thorin are on the desk. They've got some questions for you as well. Yeah. Well, I wanted to know is if I heard that a Fnatic player was going to get VAC banned, that's it. Well, could happen. Wasn't expecting you though, Crims. <laughs> is everything all right? Were you worried you might not be able to play the game? And uh, Nah. Uh, or a bit. But it's like, even though I know I didn't do anything wrong, it's like you have no power. You can't do anything by yourself. So that was a bit stressful. But... I knew it's gonna sort it out in in a sort of time, but I didn't know when. Crims, I have to ask about your individual performance. You know, when we're on the desk, we always commend you for your brain, your big brain plays, and and your impact in that server. But lately, it's been a little bit quiet. And my biggest question is, you know, in this series on Vertigo and on Train, we saw JW constantly pushing and constantly being aggressive. Do you think that that affects you in a negative or positive way? Do you think the way that Fnatic are playing right now is affecting you? What's going on? Why aren't you topping the, the scoreboard like you usually do? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I can do it, but I don't have to. Like, uh, when he pushes and do plays like aggressive style, I don't have to... I don't know what to say, really. It, it's just nice to have UW when he's confident and playing aggressive and uh, I can just rely on that, and I pick up the scraps, basically. Crims, right. I want to ask about uh, the bootcamp facility as well that we can see you guys in at the moment. I, when I spoke to Golden, he was saying that he felt like your comms kind of improved when you're coming into this bootcamp facility. Is that something that you feel as well? Are there any other kind of benefits it brings? Uh, of course, we play a lot better on bootcamp, maybe except this match, but uh, it's going to show in the future matches that we're much better on LAN or at bootcamp at least. You know, I said in the actual hype trailer for this particular playoffs, I said, back when you guys used to win the major, you only used to get 100k for first place. This tournament, if you win, you get 500 grand. Would it be a big deal to win a tournament like this? Uh, yeah, of course. Not the money, though. Uh, just the honor and the last uh, tournament of the year. So that's going to be nice to win this. Fair enough. Well, thank you, Crims. One last thing before we have you go. You're going to be facing the winner of OG versus MIBR that's coming up next. Which team would you rather face and why? Ooh, that's a tough one. We have faced OG so many times, but MIBR is uh, looking really scary. They are really aggressive and they have no calm where to play, but it would be fun to play them. So MIBR. Well, we'll see if they advance out of the, this next round. Congratulations for advancing here in the winner's bracket of the Flashpoint 2 playoffs. And we'll see you in a few days. Back to the desk. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Monty. I do want to pick up on something that Crims was saying in that interview about those CT sides on train. He was saying, you know, it normally feels kind of comfortable for them. So where did you see the issues for this Fnatic side on that map? I mean, this was one where I felt like Brolan, every single time he was trying to push up to that like T-mid area, 
it was like he was walking a tightrope. He was either going to mm. completely mess it up and get fragged, or he was going to do what you expect, like get two, three kills. So I felt like that was a pressure point right there. I, I don't think they had any clue to expect from Dig and Sass. Yeah, and I think that's a huge factor, right? Dig, you see that they were absolutely ready for Fnatic, for this series in particular. Any time that Fnatic were making their gimmicky pushes, their aggress aggressive plays, it was Dignitas ready and willing to punish Fnatic every time. So I think Fnatic had to dig pretty deep into their playbook in order to get this W, but that's 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 the key point, right? Fnatic have that deep playbook. They've got the skill and the mechanical skill to be able to... Uh, uh, play those uh, strats out. So that was Fnatic closing and sealing the deal. But Dignitas, they had an answer most of the way through across all three maps here. And speaking of punishing Fnatic, I know that you were speaking about uh, JW on Vertigo having a little bit of struggles coming into it. And you felt like you saw similar things coming out on this train. What exactly was it? Yeah, and I just wanted to highlight this because this is the charm of Fnatic, right? Is the ability to find these holes, be slippery. But this is JW just on train alone. Look at how many times he's dying in the white walls of shower on train. That's a T side of map. You know that JW is always dancing on the lines of the line of scrimmage and always on the T side of the map. And that's the great thing about JW is the fact that he's so slippery. But it's obvious right now that all these teams are preparing. They're, they're absolutely ready for JW shenanigans. So I think JW needs to come in with a little bit of uh, finesse, just a little bit of uh, spice sprinkled on top. Maybe get Crims a little bit involved. Maybe uh, wait for a different sort of contact play. But JW is constantly finding himself in this position, and it hasn't worked out for him yet. But the fact that he is in that position, I think, is great for Fnatic. Yeah, we love that JW spice, and hopefully we'll be seeing more of that going forward for the side of Fnatic. Oh, you picked up a round in particular, Potter. Thorin, you've got a favorite moment from this entire series. Oh, so course. let's witness yeah. it together. Basically, this is like a metaphor for how I felt during this series, especially when I thought Dignitas was going to win. So go watch. So first I was watching, I was intently, mm, what's going on? Then I was trying to figure out what's going on right in this game though. Then I thought, right, well, it's, it's almost, I think Fnatic's probably going to win the right. And then, you know, that oh, I was getting a bit pivot. No, oh, why? Three maps, why? All oh, the rounds. Oh, gonna... oh few Fnatic won in the end. That's all right. <laughs> Pure pain from the side of Halzak there. And maybe pain indeed because he actually looked pretty decent coming into this map. And I think maybe that's an issue going forward for Dignitas. Yeah, sure, it is Fnatic. It is one of the favorite teams in the tournament. But you're looking at the inconsistencies from Dignitas. They aren't down and out just yet. They will be going into that lower bracket. But it doesn't look like things are going to get any easier for them. I've got some bad news for you. So update on the stats, right? Now in this tournament, even though Harry actually had a decent series there, he is the third worst ranked player in the whole tournament. Freiburg is the seventh worst ranked player in the whole tournament. And Forrest is the eighth worst. He's now moved down from 15. To, he's moved up to eighth worst. So if three of your five are that low down, that actually shows that it's I'll, I'll give credit to the coaching staff and actually maybe even some of the IGL calls. It's a miracle that they've been in these games, that they did manage to creep through the last chance qualifier. They had a chance to win this series, but it isn't from fragging and it's definitely not from clean players. So even though you might look at how close the matches are and say, hey, maybe they can do something in this lower bracket. I actually look at it now and I think they can't keep getting away with this. Like either someone's going to have to have a massive regression to being a lot better. Maybe it could be, Forrest could be the guy to have a big series. But the current level of play, a lot of teams are going to eat that up. Yeah, they are indeed. And maybe that's a concern going forward, Christine, for this Dignitas side, as you kind of said there, Duncan. The last chance qualifier, you know, in a normal tournament, they wouldn't even be here yes. in this situation. So I'm wondering what you're thinking of them going forward and where they're going to be needing to make those improvements if they're hoping to make it further. Yeah, it's tough to say. And I hate keep saying the same thing, but you got to hit your shots. We got to upgrade. Halzer, as yes. you mentioned, Freya, he started heating up, but that was at the very end yep. of train. That was already when Dignitas were starting to lose, you know? So they the impact that we talk about from AW peers, you have every more opportunities than every other player in that server. So we got to look at Halzerk once yes. again. We got to upgrade and elevate his play style uh, and give him more opportunities to have those playmaking abilities because we saw it, but Dignitas were already losing trains. So a little bit earlier, and I think uh, Dig, it should activate the rest of the, the Dig members. Well, we will be seeing more of Dignitas, of course, going forward. They aren't down and out of the tournament just yet, but we 